हेलो अनिश आवाज जा रही है हेलो यस सर ऑडिबल सर सो हैव यू परफॉर्म एनी एक्सपेरिमेंट इन द इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन टू लैब महफूज है ना Yes, sir. I have any experiment uh, done in the electric uh, machine tool lab? No, was, sir. It will be machine का practical नहीं हुआ sir. So, just today we are going to start uh, one experiment uh, that is. Very fast, sir. I think. Am I audible now? Yes, sir. Audible. so today we are going to start uh, three phase to two phase conversion that is also known as the scott connection okay so how we can convert from three phase to two phase we generally see that uh, the actually three phase transformer in your Uh, domestic distribution purpose uh, you may be find their application so if we required that means to convert the three phase to two phase or supply given to one particular phase so how we can convert from three phase to two phase okay simply you may find out lot of uh, Uh, load a single phase is it not in your whole home lot of uh, load a single phase and if uh, large load that will uh, be with three phase load so directly we can supply even to the three phase is it not so just we try to see here how we can convert the three phase to two phase okay that means for <coughs> two phase energy system is required for fed power some like uh, load like a uh, single furnace single phase furnace or low voltage single phase supply that you may be find in your home also okay and another application may be find out in electric traction and if uh, another application that means two phase control motor okay so these are some application for single phase power so we want to convert from three phase to two phase okay so just uh, try to share the screen okay uh, so name of experiment is just uh, phase conversion using the scott connection of transformer and uh, perform the load test okay that means uh, if we convert uh, from three phase to two phase then we apply on the secondary side loads so maybe valence load or unbalanced load so we try to perform that uh, test just uh, allow him some student to meeting Uh, 
Fine. Just wait one minute, say log in, and then we'll continue. Okay, so here we discuss some of the a Scott connection theory ta transformer of a Scott connection. So the deep theory a Scott connection, a Scott transformer that is also known as a Scott connection or transformer, the type of circuit used to drive the two phase power from a three phase source. Okay. The a Scott connection eventually uh, we already explained some application of the Two phase power usage in the domestic and industrial purpose. Okay, that means in two phase control motor or uh, electric traction, and you may be used in single phase harness or uh, low voltage in your home uh, of single phase load. Okay, so for the escort connection, uh, we require the eventually distributed balance uh, load between the phase of the source. So, escort connection. Or transformer require three phase power input. Provide two equal single phase output called the main and trigger. So we require two transformer, one as the main, and next one is your trigger transformer. Okay. Here we require combination of two transformer. So one is your main known as main transformer, another is your trigger transformer. The main and teaser output are degree out of phase, uh, 90 degree out of phase, and the main and the teaser output must not be connected in parallel or in series as it created a vector current imbalance uh, on the primary side. So main and teaser output are on separate core. That means uh, main transformer and teaser transformer. So an external jumper is also required to connect the primary side of the main and teaser section. So just we try to see here the connection and then we perform this experiment in the lab. Okay. So just allow him some student are from getting. Okay. So this one is known as the main transformer, primary and secondary. That means here indicated as H12 for the high voltage side and LH2 is your for low voltage. Okay, and this is your jumper, and this is your for the teaser transformer, high voltage side and low voltage side. Okay. So two transform uh, transformer will be required. One as teaser transformer, another as the main transformer. So the connection of uh, teaser transformer and main transformer, you may find out here, this uh, terminal is connected at this point. So at the main transformer is connected at mid term of the uh, main transformer, not connected at the uh, 86% almost uh, the ratio of the main transformer that means this transformer is uh, 86%. Okay. And the so assuming the desired output is the same on the two and three phase side, the escort connection consists of a center tap that means one is to one ratio main transformer. Uh, main transformer uh, turns ratio is one is to one and 86% uh, of the teacher transformer, okay? And the transformer two. So here represent, uh, this one is your transformer one, and this one is your four, transformer two, okay? That means the uh, main transformer have the turns ratio one is to one, primary and secondary, and teacher transformer have the turns ratio 86%, okay? So, and we have to uh, connect something like this one, main transformer, primary winding and secondary winding. And you maybe apply the load on the secondary side. Okay. So, and 
so the other side of the transformer then connects directly to the two pair of the two phase four wire system yeah, from this side of the transformer figure and main transformer so here so the scott connection conversion three phase two in vectorial form that means uh, here to so there uh, two phase that means uh, y1 y2 and this is your high winding of the tj transformer and uh, the tj transformer is connected at the 86% tapping at the point of 86% tapping yeah. uh, with the uh, main transformer. So voltage at this uh, transformer is suppose that uh, taken as the reference voltage that will be attending zero degree. So to winding phase uh, voltage at 90 degree phase displacement. So the main transformer has a transfer ratio. Already we explained that uh, one is to one, and the TJ transformer requires a transfer ratio of eighty six percent for balance load operation. Okay, and the principle of operation of the Scott connection can be most easily seen by the first applying a current uh, to the TJ secondary winding, and then applying a current to the main secondary winding, calculating the primary current uh, separately and. Uh, superimposing the result. So load connected between the phase Y1 and uh, phase Y2 of the secondary side. So secondary current from the teaser winding into phase uh, X1 equal to one, that means uh, returns at less than 90 degrees. So secondary current from the teaser winding into phase X2, that means at uh, minus one, less than 90 degree. So primary current from H3 phase into the teaser winding is your 1.1547 less than 90 degree and primary current from H2 that means second phase uh, into the main winding is your 0 0.5 at uh, less than 90 degree. Okay. So their relation we find out that means say if you superimpose the two set of primary uh, current that means uh, one at H3 uh, 1.1547 is the 90 degree plus 0 equal to 1.1547 less than 90 degree. Okay. Notice that the primary three phase current are balanced. That is the phase current had the same magnitude and they are since the uh, primary side are three phase. Okay. But uh, the secondary side we converted into uh, two phase. So that is the phase current has the same magnitude and their phase angle are 120 degree apart. The parent power supply by the main transformer is greater than the apparent power supply by the teaser transformer. Okay. So the KV rating of the main transformer is uh, more compared to the uh, teaser transformer. So this is easily verified by observing that the primary current in both the transformer has the same magnitude. Okay. However, the primary voltage, just, uh, the primary voltage of the teaser transformer is only 86.6% as great as the primary voltage of the main transformer. So therefore the teaser Transformer only 86% of the apparent power transferred by the main power. So this is the 86% tapping provided in the TJ transformer. So TJ transformer only, whatever the output of the apparent power of the main transformer, only 86% output uh, get through the TJ transformer. Also observe that when the load uh, uh, total uh, real power delivered to the two phase load is equal to the total real power supplied from the three phase system. The total apparent power transferred by both the transformer is greater than the total apparent power delivered to the two phase load. So, 
the efferent power transfer by the teacher transformer you may be calculate from here that means 0.86% uh, 86% so 0.866 into i h1 equal to 1 and the efferent power transfer by the main transformer is your 1 into i h2 that means uh, i h2 well we already find out in previous so 1.1547 uh, for a total of 2.1547 of efferent power transfer so the additional of uh, this per unit of efferent power is due to the uh, parasitic re reactive power owing between the two half of the primary winding in the main transformer so the figure will also that the escort connection transformer or t transformer connection the main transformer is center tap at the terminal d and is connected to the line b and c of the three phase side okay so their connection may be find out here yeah so this is the conversion from the three phase to two phase okay so this is your phase a phase b phase c three phase uh, when we said so this one is known as the main transformer and this one is known as the fissure transformer okay so fissure so, transformer uh, so the output uh, you may be connected at the uh, two output that means at b1 and b2 so this one is your fissure transformer okay i ip current flow through this one and this is your main transformer so this one is your phase two. This is your phase one. So from these three phase, uh, we just converted into two phase power. Okay. Uh, so you have to uh, this uh, point keep in your mind where the uh, you connection perform in the laboratory. So you have to concern about this uh, terminal point connection. Okay. A B C. Suppose that is this is your uh, teaser transformer and this is your main transformer so where you connect the load of this secondary side of this uh, one load and another load is connected through this side okay so the identical interchangeable transformer are used for the escort connection in which each transformer has a primary winding of two turns and is provided with a tapping at 0. Uh, 289 pp and uh, 0 0.5 t and 0 0.866 tp and next is your the phasor diagram of a scott connection of the transformer so the line voltage of three phase system that means uh, if your terminal are abc so v ab vbc and vca which are balanced are shown in the figure so just uh, draw here the vab vab VVC and VCA, okay, of uh, three phase line voltage phasor, 120 degree displaced from each other, okay. and voltage on transformer of the primary winding. So suppose that this is your uh, VBC and uh, this is your VAD. In the term you, you may find out. So if you draw in the dot, dotted line that means this is your VAB, this point is your VAB and this is your VBC. Okay. And this is your VCA. Uh, if you just uh, draw compared to this uh, figure of the second side. So you maybe get the VAD that is this one perpendicular to this one VBD uh, uh, and VDC. Okay. So this one is your VDC phasor diagram. So which are balanced is shown in the figure. So the same voltage is shown as a closed equilateral triangle. The figure below, so the primary winding of the main transformer and the teaser transformer. Okay. So the, the, the vector uh, vector representation of the line voltage that means VAB VBC equal to half of the VBC and one by two of the line voltage. Okay. The voltage between A and D uh, just uh, simply maybe you know, find from this relation that means VBD equal to VDC equal to half of the uh, VBC. Okay, that's that. And the following are the application of the 
Scott can connection we have already application explained at the starting point okay so the Scott connection is used in a electric process again same things uh, we already explained in a starting point okay Find out here. Power in either direction. So, advantage of the Scott connection if desired a three phase uh, into two phase or single phase load may be supplied. So, simultaneously we can supply three phase or single phase power load. Okay. So, the neutral point can be available for grounding or loading purpose. So, and disadvantage when used for a three phase loading. This type of asymmetrical connection with three phase to two coils reconstruct three phase for, from the two winding. This can be an equal voltage drop in the winding, resulting in potential unbalanced voltage to be applied to the load. So, what are the various type of uh, equipment required for performing the Scott connection? क्या क्या चाहिए हम लोग को सबसे अभी तक जो एक्सप्लेन किए उसे स्कॉट कनेक्शन परफॉर्म करने के लिए क्या चाहिए हम लोग को सो दीज आर दी वेरियस इंस्ट्रूमेंट टू बी रिक्वायर्ड जस्ट थ्री फेज वन इज योर टू ट्रांसफॉर्मर रिक्वायर्ड दैट मीन्स वन एज मेन ट्रांसफॉर्मर एंड वन एज टीजर ट्रांसफॉर्मर सॉरी एंड थ्री फेज ऑटो ट्रांसफॉर्मर फॉर वेरिंग द सप्लाई and ac emitter and voltmeter and single phase resistive load and various type of load of single phase which can apply on the secondary side of the single phase okay so these are the various type of component we required for perform the scott connection in the laboratory so you may find out in the next class we try to just perform this experiment In the laboratory also. Okay. So just uh, next to what we have to uh, note on the reading. So circuit diagram we already explained here. So <coughs> this is the connection diagram for the, uh, the Scott connection. And when you go to the laboratory, then you have to require uh, the number of uh, emitter that means uh, for three phase emitter uh, for phase a phase b or whatever you maybe want to represent either r y b or a b c whatever so three emitter required for three phase okay and one voltmeter required for measure the line voltage time dividing and you have to uh, concern about mean things here okay mean things here that means The teaser transformer tapping provide at the this point. This is your primary side, is it not? So teaser transformer at the eighty six percent tapping at the eighty six percent and main transformer you have to supply at this point. So this one main transformer you have to divide in two parts, zero point five and zero point five. That means half of the total winding. Okay. And uh, secondary side of this TJ transformer is connected uh, one load that is connected uh, converted in one phase, and this is your secondary side of the main transformer is your for uh, second uh, phase. Okay, so you have to connect the one voltmeter and emitter on the secondary side of the TJ transformer and main transformer. Okay. So, ये कनेक्शन डायग्राम तुम लोग ध्यान में रखना है जब व्हेन वी आर परफॉर्म द एक्सपेरिमेंट इन द लेबोरेटरी इन द नेक्स्ट पीरियड और नेक्स्ट सेशन ओके सो एंड हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ एमीटर एंड वोल्टमीटर वी हैव टू रिक्वायर फॉर द प्रपोज दैट मींस वन एमीटर एंड वोल्टमीटर फॉर द सेकेंडरी साइड ऑफ द टीजर ट्रांसफार्मर एंड वन एमीटर एंड वोल्टमीटर फॉर द सेकेंडरी साइड ऑफ द Three meter transformer, uh, so main transformer, and three meter required for the three phase of the primary side of the transformer, and one volt meter for the line voltage. Okay, and then you have to 
apply either maybe uh, first case for the balance load and uh, the second case uh, we just perform for the unbalanced load also okay so this is the connection diagram we already explained here that means the connect the three phase variac main transformer and tj transformer with the proper connection in the circuit diagram, with the emitter, voltmeter, and single phase load as per the circuit diagram. So this is your operating procedure for the experiment. And we set the barrier at the minimum position and main on, on the three phase AC supply. Uh, increase the voltage gradually and just set the input voltage at the 200 line to line. Okay. And step four is your Observe the input voltage and output voltage at no load condition and note down the observation. Okay, so we have to just make one table uh, uh, for the input voltage and output voltage at the no load condition. Okay, so line voltage you have to apply almost uh, equal to line to line that is 200 volt. So you have to note down when load are not connected, that means at no load condition. Okay, and uh, in the second part, you have to connect the load and then to, uh, in both the phase, that means at this uh, single phase and at this single phase, you may be apply either for the balance load and in the next, uh, you have to apply unbalanced load and we just try to note down all the reading of the instrument, whatever the, uh, we have connected. So observe the uh, fourth uh, number of procedure or uh, a step observe the input voltage and output voltage at uh, no load And next uh, step, switch on the load balance condition. Both the load box uh, set up uh, step by step and uh, note down. That means uh, the load of uh, various years installed in the lab. So just uh, switch on this uh, load. Then you apply second side of the in transformer and TJ transformer, okay. At both condition, balance and unbalanced condition. And uh, at the balance condition, you have reading of all the emitter and voltmeter note down. And in very, every step, the input voltage must be constant. If any change, adjust the variac and set the at the desired value. And take the voltage. So take at uh, least of five or six reading to change the load at balance condition. And next, the uh, last one uh, step is your means uh, switch off the load and change the input voltage say at uh, 300 line to line voltage and repeat all the step from four to six. So similar way, change the input voltage to maybe 400 volt line to line or again repeat. At, that means you have to take the reading at the various input voltage, okay. and uh, note down all the reading so and ninth uh, switch off the load and set the voltage at uh, 200 line to line voltage and load both the transformer at unbalanced condition at the grid step and note on the same reading whatever we have uh, reading note down for the balance load and uh, switch off the load and change the input voltage say at uh, 300 volt line to line and finally we have to take uh, either uh, five or six reading for the each case okay so this is the observation table and uh, we already shown to you correction diagram of uh, this one for the balance load and the same things uh, for the unbalanced load. Okay. So you make the table here and 
uh, we perform the session in the laboratory in the next class. Okay. Okay, so this is all about the procedure and connection diagram of a Scott connection. Is it clear to all of you? Or maybe have any problem in connection diagram and procedure, how we can proceed the experiment in the laboratory. So you have to note down two point. Okay. One is your circuit diagram and another is your observation table. So you maybe you take the this, this diagram, circuit diagram, the connection and observation table. So you are able to see the connection in the laboratory and uh, you maybe note down the all reading, whatever you may be required for the balance and unbalanced condition. So is it clear to all of you or have any problem? Just tell me. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, just tell me. Experiment hum kar sakte na, lab mein. So. Yes, sir. Okay. So just uh, you have to concern about your circuit diagram and uh, make the table for the uh, balanced load condition and uh, unbalanced load condition. What you, very, you have to provide it here. Just to note down these two, uh, two tables, one for balanced load. And so, circuit diagram. Table to look banana kerak lo, okay? Or I will have a lab with Angus to feel what I say. Just a reading to look note. Circuit diagram. 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 Circuit दो पीरियड का Two. Yes, sir. Sure. Okay, I can't get ready. Or as. Take it to copy me table is not curl. Table banana to look. First one is your serial number, second one is your second column is your input voltage and uh, output current. That means our actually yeah, output current ni input current here. Input current. This one is your output voltage V1 and V2, and this is load current. Okay. This is for balance load, and similarly for the same table for the unbalanced load. Okay. Minimum kitna emitter ka requirement hoga is mein कितने एमीटर की जरूरत पड़ेगा? हेलो सर्किट डायग्राम तो अभी यहाँ एक्सप्लेन किए थे जस्ट जितने थ्री फेज में करने तीनों फेज में मीजर करना चाह रहे हैं 
ठीक है तो तीन वाई मीटर तो फ्रेम साइज ही लगेगा ठीक है थ्री ए मीटर आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द फ्रेम साइज एंड वन वोल्ट मीटर फॉर द लाइन वोल्टेज मीटर वी जस्ट अप्लाई द लाइन वोल्टेज हियर एंड यू मे बी कनेक्ट ओनली वन ए मीटर फॉर द आर फेज और सेम थिंग्स यू मे बी इफ नॉट सफिशिएंट ए मीटर आर अवेलेबल देन यू मे बी यूज वन ए मीटर एट इंस्टेंट ऑफ थ्री ओके बट यू हैव टू रिक्वायर्ड इन द सेकेंडरी साइड at least to two volt meter and two emitter okay for the voltage and current measurement of the two phase okay so this circuit diagram you have to keep in your mind and you connect the connection in the laboratory okay okay table bana liye ho tum log ab procedure yaad rahega na हेलो यस सर जो सीधे ध्यान में रहेगा ना जरा सा वो एस्ट करना है यस सर सीधे जैसे अब तो स्टेप 2 और 3 तक स्टेप 1 इज योर कनेक्शन स्टेप 2 इज योर सम स्विच ऑन एंड अप्लाई द विद द बैरियर यू हैव टू चेक द बैरियर कैप की मिनिमम पोजीशन और नॉट एंड स्टेप 3 इज योर इंक्रीज द वोल्टेज and at the different line voltage uh, you have to note down of the parameters uh, of the secondary side that is uh, voltage and current and primary side input voltage and current okay simple hai line voltage yadi dekhiye fix kar liye uske baad jaise kya karna hai load ka switch on karna hai very side of load are given in the laboratory in the setup box so just you may be one switch for the one load Uh, and according to that, you have to increase and decrease the number of load. Okay, so you have to on and off the load switch. So I think is it clear to all of you? Uh, have any doubt? So just ask me. किसी को कोई प्रॉब्लम है तो सीडियो सर्किट डायग्राम किसी में भी और अदरवाइज यू स्टॉप हियर दिस इज एंड इन नेक्स्ट सेशन वी जस्ट स्टार्ट विद इन 5 मिनट्स और 10 मिनट्स सो जस्ट क्विकली ज्वाइन इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन तो यहां पे हम लोग स्टॉप करें ओके सर so just we stop here and in the next class just within 5 or 10 minutes we will start in the uh, machine lab okay so just to we perform there this experiment thank you sir